Taisha and welcome to Shauna's Space. So it's been about a week and a half, or is it two weeks? Not sure. But it's about it's been about a week and a half since I dyed my hair. Actually, if you haven't watched that video as yet, I'm gonna just link it right up there. Um, right. So it's been like a week and a half since I dyed my hair and styled it. So my hair is it's looking really rough right now. Like it's just it's just been there. I haven't been really doing much for it, with it. That's a moisturizer and everything, but it's time to do something else. And as I was scrolling through Instagram for inspiration, um, there's actually, ooh, you know how you can follow hashtags on Instagram? So I'm actually following some more, I think, hashtag natural hair community, something like that. And as I was scrolling by, um, I, I spotted a video and I heard an accent. I was like, ooh, that's a Beijing accent. So I was like, alright, let me really watch the little video. And that's when I saw someone called Natural Roots. Um, I'll try to link her channel in the description. I saw her using this aloe and flaxseed gel. So I've never tried aloe and flaxseed gel, but I do make my own flaxseed gel at home. And she bought it from a Barbadian company. But it's locked down and I'm not sure if people are really selling stuff, you know, like your stuff. So I decided I would just make it at home myself. Um, the recipe that I usually use for my flat seed is from Nat Natural 85. So I'll just use that regular recipe and just add some aloe from my backyard into it and we'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoy. So we're in my kitchen where all creations happen. <laughs> so I have my flat seed and the way how the recipe usually goes is a quarter cup of flat seed, also known as linseed, depending on where you're from or whatever, however they package it. So it's a quarter cup to either two cups of water or two and a half cups. So since I want mine to be thick, I'm going to do two cups of water. Okay, so this is how thick it is, it's actually um, fogging up my camera, but the heat that is. So it's very thick, so I'm just going to let that cool down and then I'm going to strain it. Okay, so I've deep cut out shampoo and deep conditioned my hair. So I'm just gonna come in close and put put some product in my hair. Well not put some product, just try this gel and see how it's you know just going into my hair. So I think I really like it, like it actually is defining my hair. But I don't think I want to do a wash and go. I think I'm just going to do some twists. Just to test the effectiveness of the product, I am going to use only this product in my hair, nothing else. I'll probably just seal with some oil. So let me get started. First, I'm going to section my hair into four. Okay, so let me get started. That seems like a really good size. So I'm just going to put a product in. Get that saturated. Also, I'm definitely going to put in the description the benefits of, well, the supposed benefits of aloe and flaxseed. So, definitely look for that. I'm 
But so far, he's actually doing a really good job of defending my hair. I really should do a wash and go, but um, I think I kind of want to give my hair a rest. So that one's actually complete. The twists are actually looking very nice, like very juicy and flip. Like, I can really see myself end up opening these things for a twist out, but I'll already try it. <laughs> okay, so since I finished that section, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've completely finished the back and I just have a French do now. I'm going to put some flat twists at the side. Nothing extra, look just simple flat twists going straight back right there. Okay, so I'm finished my flat twist and now I'm going to finish the twist coming down this way. So Okay, so I've finished twisting my hair and I just really love these twists. 
like they're so nice and juicy and everything is just like oh it's like oh. it's really cute oh uh, i don't really do edges but just for this just for the sake of giving the gel a try i will try to do some edges over here but it's not really my thing Oh yes, I do my edges with a toothbrush. Alright, this is as close to doing edges as I will be getting today. So, I really love it. Um, the way my hair is dry, so probably in the morning, I will, you know, record my final thoughts on this gel. However, if it is that you don't fancy the scent of aloe, this might not be something that you love. You should probably add essential oil or maybe a fragrance oil, although I'm not sure how fragrance oil will go in your hair. But yeah, it's really, it's really nice. You should definitely give it a try and let me know in the comments down below if you try this gel or what alternatives you try and you know what diy hair products you've been trying thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe